What's up everyone, we have reached Fate of the Furious in my review series for the Fast and the Furious franchise, so let's review it. Real quick, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what you think of the Fate of the Furious. And this is going to be a spoiler review for the movie, so you have been warned. Anyways, let's get into the review. So basically the plot of this movie is Dom actually turns bad in this movie, or he turns bad for the for the most part in this movie. And essentially he's kind of forced to work with Cypher, kind of like blackmailed into working for Cypher. And essentially the, the main team as usual, just without Dom, has to try to try to stop Dom and you know the Cypher and the other people that he's working with as they try to steal like nukes or something. And so that's really the plot, but obviously at the end Dom turns good and then you know, Cypher gets defeated and the nukes don't go off and stuff like that. But that's really the plot of the movie. So this is really the only Fast and Furious movie that I haven't actually seen going into this review series that I'm doing. Um, so I was pretty excited to watch it because I, ha I hadn't heard much about it, but I was just excited because I hadn't seen it. And overall, I was actually pretty disappointed by this movie. First off, I think the plot of this movie is just absolutely terrible. Why on earth would you take, in my opinion, the best character in this franchise and Vin Diesel as Dom and turn him bad for the entire movie? It just doesn't even feel like he's in this movie because he's just playing this like bland bad guy this entire movie and you're rooting against him the entire movie it's just it's so frustrating and I just I, I have no idea why they took took the story this direction with this movie it's just it's, it's 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 so stupid in my opinion I really did not enjoy it this might be the worst plot in the entire franchise in my opinion it was so frustrating with what they did with Dom in this movie because once again he's the best character and then the rest of the group just isn't as strong without him and without Brian who obviously due to Paul Walker's passing he's not in this one so it's it just you know the two big main characters in the group aren't in the group in this movie and I think that really hurts it and I, just, I think this plot was a terrible decision, especially given that this is going to be the first movie without Paul Walker in the group. So I just I think it was a terrible decision. And honestly, I don't know if they had had this movie's plot written before Paul Walker died, but it kind of feels like this plot was meant for Paul Walker's character and that he was supposed to be the guy who turns bad. I kind of feel like that because this role did not fit Dom at all. It just did not fit his character. It feels more like something that Brian would be involved with and Brian actually has a wife and a son that would correlate to this where they just made up a son for Dom to have in this movie to blackmail him. Um, so I, I feel like it was meant for Brian. Maybe. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm completely off on that. But overall the plot was a huge disappointment in this movie for me. The characters in this movie are great as usual except for Dom who's obviously just playing this like Terminator villain the whole entire movie so he's basically not even in it because he's just once again he doesn't do anything the entire movie and then at the end and by the end you just don't care when he finally turns good it's just to me that moment fell flat anyways but overall the characters not excluding Dom were really solid and I did enjoy the addition of Jason Statham as a good guy in this movie I really enjoyed him he was by far the savior of this movie as I just every second of his screen time I really enjoyed and just a Jason Statham's so good at what he does and I really enjoyed his presence in this movie. Overall the characters were pretty solid, just Dom was once again another huge disappointment. This franchise is obviously known for its action and overall I thought the action was pretty good. There were some nice action sequences, there was about halfway through there was like a chase scene in New York City that was pretty creative with some nice set pieces and just overall it looked good. The final act in like uh, somewhere in Russia and like Siberia or something I, I liked for the most part, I liked winter settings and I liked it being on ice and I just overall I, I enjoyed that for the most part. The big issue with the action in this movie is it feels very soulless because it just to me it doesn't respond well with the plot because the plot just isn't good so the action kind of just feels pointless to me um, and that might be my experience only if you don't like the plot you're going to feel that but other than that but if you enjoy the plot of this movie then you might actually enjoy the action more than I did. But overall, I think the action was alright. I don't necessarily think it was directed like amazingly. And I think overall the action was a huge step down for this franchise. But for the most part, it did its job in a Fast and Furious movie and delivered on some nice action sequences. And overall, I thought the final act of this movie really saved the movie. And it just, I, th I really enjoyed the entire final act. It was quite long, quite stretched out in, the, um, in Siberia or wherever they were in Russia. And overall, I, th I thought it was pretty strong and very enjoyable and very kind of, you could feel the stakes a little bit and obviously Dom turned good in the end, so that made it better. And like every character got their moment. I enjoyed the playing stuff with Jason Statham and it was just a, r a really good action, really good kind of final act sequence in my opinion. 
Overall, in my opinion, this movie is an absolutely ridiculous take on the franchise. The action in this movie isn't coherent, and it's not very directed well, and the, doesn't really connect with the plot that well, in my opinion. But on the positive side, I did actually find this movie pretty entertaining, as pretty much every single movie in this franchise is. Um, they're very watchable, they're very enjoyable, they're very easy to follow. Um, and for the most part, I just wasn't bored throughout the movie, and that's, uh, once again, a huge nod to just this franchise, and how they make these movies so entertaining but once again i did find this movie to be a much, huge step down from furious 7 especially when you look at the previous the run of movies they had been on where i think it was quite strong this movie in my opinion was a huge step down mainly due to the plot just really being a frustrating one in them turning dom bad and overall this movie just didn't feel like that much like a fast and furious movie just felt more like this kind of like crime thriller action movie type thing it did it um aside from the opening scene which was in like cuba where it had dom and letty and they were racing and stuff and that was a decent racing scene at the opening scene but other than that it just it, it didn't connect to the fast and furious franchise aside from the cars and the characters it just it was really just an action movie it doesn't and i thought that was really frustrating because you know fast five and up they, they, they're their own thing, but they connect to the franchise and they use, they connect back to the franchise's roots. This one really just feels like it forgets it and just does its own thing, even more so than Furious 7 did. And overall, I just found this movie pretty disappointing. The plot, in my opinion, was really bad. The action wasn't amazing compared to some of the recent movies. Uh, the characters were weaker due to the plot just not being strong. Though, once again, this movie is still enjoyable and still very mindless. And, you know, it's a Fast and Furious movie, so it's enjoyable to watch. Anyway, so I'm going to give The Fate of the Furious 3 out of 5 stars and a 68%. Anyways, that's going to do it for my review of The Fate of the Furious. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of The Fate of the Furious. Anyways, that's going to do it for the video. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.